Hello there, it's me, Play. In this video, I'll teach you how to create a simple Discord bot. This is only the first in a series of videos where I'll go more in depth about certain topics. By the end of this video, you'll have a basic bot. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. To create the bot, we'll be using Python, specifically the discord.py library. I am under the assumption that you already have Python installed. If not, go install it. The first thing we need to do is create the bot application in the Discord developer portal. So head over to discord.com slash developers slash applications and here you can see your applications, if you have any. I already have one which I use for testing purposes. Let's create a new application. Call it whatever you'd like. Once you create the application, you can see some information about it. Head over to the bot tab on the left. Here is where we add our bot. Click add bot. Now you can see the bot was created and you have all these settings to configure. I have a weird bug so I'm just gonna refresh the page. You can change the avatar, the username, and the token, which I'll talk about in a bit. Underneath are the privilege gateway intents. These intents are something we need to enable if we want our bot to do certain things. We'll enable all of the intents. Now let's add our bot to the server. Head over to the OAuth2 tab and the URL generator. In here specify the scope of your permissions. In our case it is bot and we want our bot to be an administrator so check that. At the bottom a URL was generated. This is the URL we can use to add the bot to servers. Copy the link and paste it in a new tab. Choose the server you want to add the bot to. I recommend you create a testing server like I have before adding the bot to an actual server. Follow the steps until the bot is added to the server. You can see the bot joined, however it is currently offline. To make it run, we need to write some code. Create a project directory. I'm going to use a virtual environment to keep things clean. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's not necessary. Now let's install the discord.py API. To do this, enter the command pip install discord.py. That was quite quick for me since pip used cached files. By running pip list you can see what packages have been installed. Now open your favorite code editor in the project directory. In here you can see this .python version file. Don't worry about it, it's just for my virtual environment. It's not needed for the bot. Create a python file. I'll call mine main. In here, first import discord and from discord.extensions import commands. Now we need to set up the intents. If you recall we enabled all of them. So create a variable called intents and set them to discord.intents.all. Create a variable for the bot. I'll call it bot. Set this to a commands.bot object. This class represents a discord bot. We need to pass in two keyword arguments. The first being the command prefix. I'll set this to a period. And the second being the intents. Set this to the intents object we created prior. Now to run the bot, we simply call bot.run. Inside this function, we need to specify the token of our bot. If we head back over to the portal, you can see the token is hidden for security reasons. To get it, reset the token. Now you can see the token. Make sure you copy the token and save it somewhere, and do not give this token to anyone you don't trust, because if they have it, they can run the bot themselves with their own code. As you can imagine, that would be catastrophic. I will reset the token before uploading this video, so don't go thinking you can troll the master. Anyways, I'll copy the token, and instead of pasting it directly into my code, I'll paste it into a text file. Now to read the text file, I'll use a context manager with open token.txt in read mode as token file. Set token to token file.readline. Now in the run method, just pass in the token. Run the file using Python, then entering the name of your file, in my case main.py. And now if you wait a couple of seconds and head over to the server, you can see the bot is now online. If you enter your prefix appended with help, you can see the bot responds with the default help command. Head back to the terminal. To stop the bot, hit Ctrl C for cancel. Back in the code, let's create our command. Commands are simply functions. We'll create an echo command, so create an async function called echo. For the parameters, specify the context, which represents the context the command is in. This includes things like the user invoking the command and what channel the command is being invoked in. And also, specify a message. This is a string we want to repeat back to the user. To send this message back, simply use the ctx.send message, passing in the message as an argument. This function is asynchronous, so we need to await it. 
Now you may be wondering how does the API know the difference between command functions and our own functions. We can specify this by decorating the function with bot.command. Now if we run the file and head back to the server and send echo hello, you can see the bot responds back with hello. The bot will repeat whatever you say to it. However, if we try to echo a message with words separated by spaces, it will only echo the first word. Every word separated by a space you enter after the command will be considered as an argument. In this case, the first word hello was the first argument, world was the second argument. In our function, we're only accounting for one argument. So instead, we can say that message is a list of arguments by prepending an asterisk. Now we need to create a string from that list, joining each word with a space. So we can create a string with a space in it and call the join method passing in the message list. If you run the bot, head back into the server, and use the same command with multiple words, you can see the bot returns all of them. To recap, we first imported everything we need, then we read the token from a text file, set our intents, create a bot object specifying the prefix and the intent, then we created a command that repeats the message, and finally we run the bot using the token. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.